So what we got here, coming in from Pep Boys. This might give you a hint. I'm gonna do a little trailer hitch install. Some heavy duty steel right there. What I'm going to do is run one of these bolts through all of the holes just to make sure you know all the threads are clean on those OEM holes because there's never been a hitch on this truck. Uh, those holes have gotten a little bit rusty so I want to make sure they're nice and clean. I'm just going to start off lubricating the uh, holes. A little WD-40. Alright, so the threads were just super rusted, I feel. Um, so the, if you're trying to install a hitch on a, a Honda Ridgeline, this will help you. They're 12 millimeter, 1.25 bolts, three on each side. And then the two that are right behind the bumper, those are uh, 10 millimeter, 1.25. Pretty sure that's what it is. Um, the 10 millimeter bolts were super clean, they went right in. But the ones on the sides are kind of rusted. Um, so I think that's why it was so hard to get the bolt in there. So what I did was I rented a, a tap set and I'm using the 12 millimeter 1.25 tap. I'm just gonna clean out the holes, put the bolts right in. All right, so I successfully retapped every hole for the bolt, bolts. And uh, now it's time to second try putting this Hitch on. Let's do it. All right, so I'm all set up. Bolts are ready to go. Now I'm gonna drop the muffler. So take it off the hangers, just so I can get up and in there to get the, the hitch in place. So it's pretty simple. Um, once you have it in place, you have to drop the muffler, drop the heat guard. That wasn't too hard. Now I just gotta, right now I'm just gonna put one bolt in each section then worry about getting the washers in there and everything like that I uh, just want to make sure all these holes align right, so I did one try at dry fitting it but either the hitch itself is slightly off or the frame of my truck is slightly off so what I'm gonna do is try to bend this back a little bit to get it to slide into place so I'm putting all the bolts in just hand tight these are all these washers have teeth on them, so when you tighten them all the way down, they're not going to back off. Unless you have a wrench, of course. Um, so, I found out as I was putting it on, either the frame of the truck was bent or the hitch itself was just slightly, slightly bent. So I had to take it off, whack it with a sledgehammer a few times. I had to whack the side arm outwards. I had to whack this panel right behind the bumper inwards to give myself a little bit more flexibility um, so I'll put it on took it off whacked it a few times put it back on and now it fits perfectly so I'll finish up these bolts got my torque wrench set um, so it's gonna be 72 on the wings and 46 on the, uh, the middle part of the hitch so I'm just gonna torque these bolts down Spec. And there you have it. Just like that, we got a hitch. I rehung the muffler. Everything is torqued down. This baby's ready to tow a boat.